How to enable services on boot on remote host with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible modules, service underscore facts and service. First, you need to acquire the information of the services on the target machine. This task is performed by the Ansible module service underscore task. The first, the full name is ansible.builtin.service underscore task. You can't enable a service that doesn't exist, can you? This module returns service state information as fact data that is going to be processed by the service module. The effective action are performed by the Ansible module service. The full name is Ansible.builtin.service, which means that is part or both this module are part of a collection or module built in with Ansible and shipped with it. The service module is pretty stable and out for years, and its purpose is to manage service on target host. For Windows target, use the ansible.windows.win underscore service module instead. Parameters The parameter list is pretty wide, but I will summarize the most useful. The only required parameter is name that specifies the name of a service. At least one between the state and enable parameter are mandatory. The state parameter defines the action that we are going to take immediately. It has four alternative options. Started and stopped allow you to run or stop the service right now. Restarted is a combination of stop and start. You could also customize the amount of seconds between using the sleep parameter. Reloaded option is useful if the service needs to reload the configuration file. The enable parameter allows you to decide if the service should start on boot or not. This is what you want. The arguments or ax parameter allow you to specify some additional arguments provided on the command line. Not very common, to be honest. Demo. Let's jump in a real life playbook how to enable service on boot on remote host with Ansible playbook. Are you ready? Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to enable NTP service on boot on remote host. First of all, let's begin our play named service module demo that is going to target hosts all of my inventory. Then we need root privilege, so become true because only root can perform this type of task. Let me define one variable that could be very useful services underscore on underscore boot is pretty explicative. And here I'm going to add all the list of service. In my case, cronyd.service because it's managed by systemd. Then on the task list, two tasks, the first named populate service task that we would like to acquire the list of running tasks at the moment on the workstation using ansible.builtin.service underscore facts and has no parameters so it's a fantastic module. Then we are going to perform the action of enabling the module. 
So I'm going to name like enable service on services on boot. Here we are. And we are going to use ansible.builtin.service. Some parameters are needed. First of all is name. In my case will be item because I'm going to loop over the variable. Status will be an enabled will be true because we want this service to run to be enabled on boot and the state will be started because we want it right now to start the service. When will be item in services. Services is a special variable created by the previous task and then with underscore items we specify that we are going to loop over the services on boot variable. So as you can see we created one simple playbook to enable some services on boot. First of all we acquired the list of services available on the workstation and then we run uh, over the, the, the list of services and enable only the services that are available on this machine. So this is bulletproof because we are going to enable on boot and start the service right now. Do you want to see the result? Let's jump to the console. Welcome to my console. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine with a user devops at demo.example.com. This is a fresh machine and we need to use the root privilege. So sudo su, here we are. Let me show you the with cat slash etc slash red hat dash release. That is a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.4 and let me list uh, the available package rpm-qa and let me grab for crony the NTP services that is actually installed on this machine. Let me verify the startup uh, status with system control status uh, crony D dot service. Here we are. The result is that this service is inactive, which means that it's not running at the moment and also disabled, which means that it's not going to start on boot. We are going to change both this uh, status with our Ansible playbook. So we would like to start immediately the service and enable on every boot. First of all, let me run my playbook with ansible-playbook. Let me add also the inventory with dash e and then the playbook path. In my case, enable services on boot. Here we are. I'm expecting a fast execution of uh, two tasks and the first uh, status will be OK because we are going only to acquire some data and the second is getting changed because we performed some action. If our list of tasks will be more, we are going to see a list of uh, items in the output. Let me execute again to verify the hidden potency and this time we got only OK status which means that no further action are executed on the target machine. Let me connect via SSH DevOps as user and then switch again as root to verify if uh, the action were performed on the machine. First of all, let me system control status crownyd.service and we see that the service is active at the moment running and also is enabled, which means that it is target to be executed on reboot. So the service is active 
and we see all the log in the second half uh, part of the screen let me quit the systemd command and perform a reboot operation on this virtual machine so let me quit with Q and reboot it's going to take some second just the time for this machine to restart and uh, let's verify if the service is actually running after the restart let me reconnect again just to give the machine some second more to perform the startup uh, bootstrap here we are the machine is available again sudo su system control status crony d dot service and we see that the service is active at the moment so running and enabled on boot so we verified both the action performed by Ansible on this machine now you know how to enable service on boot on remote host with Ansible thank you for watching if you like it give me a thumbs up and see us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot this video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.